hi guys welcome back in the laravel api video tutorial and in this second video we will learn how we can make the apis without the database so this is a very basic api and uh, uh, the reason of making without database is that uh, you can understand the basic flow of the apis how api is going to work and how we can test it to the postman and after in the next video we will make the integrate the same api with that database also so we will fetch the result from the database so now these are the points that we are going to cover in this video we will make a controller write the function make router and test api on the postman and if you are a very beginner and uh, you want to learn some basic tutorial on the laravel the link is also given in the description box so if you want to continue then let's go ahead so first of all uh, i'm just going to open the command prompt here and making a controller so just write the php artisan make controller controller name is basic and hit the enter okay then uh, let's see where it will create it just refresh it and you will see that uh, there's the basic dot php this is the controller so first thing is clear now write a function here for the function i'm just going to write here function index and it's returning something uh, an array an array like name and email Okay, so if you want to break then you can also break this array array so that it look cool and understandable fine so now we have to make the route for this and for the making the route you have to go in the resource folder at, uh, sorry router folder in the router folder just click on the api.php here just make a route for uh, the new api and just you can write here like uh, get uh, because it's a get method and in the get method you can pass the url which that we are going to hit on the uh, postman and the second parameter is the uh, controller url so this is the controller name and at the rate index this is the function name so this is ready now so now i'm just going to chrome and if you don't know how to install the postman then it's also very helpful for you and just you can write here chrome postman click on the first link and add to the chrome and it will take a while to install all right now just open the postman here And it will ask me for the sign up uh, otherwise you can directly go without the sign up also so just remove this one also so now just uh, make it a get request here and put the uh, URL here so URL is the local host triple eight uh, basically this is the same URL that you can copy from here also triple eight and here you can write the api because why you have to put the apis because if you write the apis you have to uh, write the path on the api.php that's why it will ask for the api and if you write the apis in the web.php then that's okay you don't need to write the uh, api right here so api and basic because this is our path name from here so just hit the enter okay so it will giving some error so let's check uh, what is the error so I think I misspell here with the name of basic so you can uh, manage for a time manage for a while then you can see that we got the uh, uh, API result here so the status is the 200 and if there is an error it will be not giving the uh, some right, res right result like it say if I just put here something like this then it will be 
uh, ask about the error so what is the error is here so this is the basic api and in the next api we will uh, learn how we can connect this uh, function to the database also how we can put the database configuration and after that we will resolve the course problem make the post api and login and all these things so thanks guys thanks for watching this video also